Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to go from this to this. We'll be doing some color correction and adjustment within Sony Vegas using only the available default plugins. We'll also show you a quick and easy way to get a cinematic look using only one Sony Vegas plugin. Then later I'll show you some of my favorite third party plugins for adjusting color and correction. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here, I've got some footage of a Spitfire which I recorded from Isle 2 Cliffs of Dover. I've already gone through and cropped the image as well as added a letterbox because I like the more cinematic look. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add a brightness and contrast. And then we're just going to want to push up the contrast until we get a look that just feels right. Again, something you're just going to have to eyeball, but I think this looks pretty good right now. And we can compare this to our original footage. You can see it's already starting to look much better. So the next thing that we're going to do is add in a color corrector. You can see it gives us three color correction wheels, which are going to adjust the lows, mids, and highs of our footage. And you can see if I grab the selector and just start to move it around the wheel, you can see our footage start to change. The further I get towards the edge of the wheel, the more dramatic the change will be. So if you're going for a realistic look, you're going to want to try and keep the selector more towards the center of the circle. Now let's say that this footage is supposed to be maybe late afternoon, early evening, and the sun should be setting, so we're going to need to add uh, a bit of warmth to this image and, and give a feel of sort of a maybe the sun is starting to set. So we'll go ahead and grab our mids and we'll just sort of push them up into the yellows and oranges nice and subtle. Put it right maybe there to start. Put a little bit more orange in there. And we'll grab our highs and do something similar just a bit sharper try and get some yellows and oranges in these shiny bits of the Spitfire and then we'll grab our lows and just do real subtle right into this area I think now it may be hard to sort of pick up on the adjustments that we made as we've gone but if we compare to our original footage you can actually see there's quite a significant change that has happened that's because it takes some time for your eyes to adjust to the subtle changes so it's always good to compare to your original footage so that you don't overdo the color correction. Now one other thing is that this image is starting to look a bit too saturated maybe. So you can actually just pull down the saturation within the color correction wheels. We'll pull it down to about 0.75. I think that looks a little bit better. And now that we've got a look that we like, we can actually go ahead and save it. We'll call it Spit. Spitfire Dusk and just save it. So now we have a preset here so we can apply this to any of our footage. So say this was a new piece of footage and we've got to cut it together. We can actually just go into our wheels and apply our default and then adjust as needed to make it match. So at this point we can add one more effect in and that is the color curves. Now what this is going to allow us to do is to further fine tune the contrast of our image. So if you can see if I pull this down or boost it up I'm adjusting the low contrast of our image and up here I'll be adjusting the highs. We'll go ahead and get like a nice subtle little S curve here to start something like this probably feels alright. You can see our footage is starting to look a bit too dark now so we'll go back to our brightness and contrast and just bump up the brightness to about 0.75 I think that looks pretty good. Back to our color curves and just make any other slight adjustments that you might think are necessary. And at this point I think we've got a pretty good uh, effect that sort of warms up our image compared to our original footage. Just go ahead and do a full comparison here. See the two images are much, much different. Our new one's a lot 
less washed out. And I think it's a good starting point. And again, you can always further fine tune your image later on. Now, if you're just getting into video editing and trying to make color adjustments and corrections, using all these different plugins and trying to manage uh, them together can feel a bit overwhelming at first. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get a more cinematic look with using only one single plugin. So we'll go over to this other footage that we have and we're going to add something called Sony Soft Contrast. See once we add it we have uh, a much softer looking image hence the name of the plugin. And that's because it has a diffusion slider within it. Now we're going to go ahead and just pull that all the way down so we keep a nice sharp image. But this is a very good plugin because it contains uh, all the controls that you need within it so you don't need to manage multiple plugins. So up here we've got a stretch range which is basically the exposure. Keep that about where it was. We've got a contrast slider. And again for a cinematic look we're going to have it nice and high up. We've got low and high trims that can help you further fine tune the look of your footage. We'll leave those at their default positions. And then we'll come down here to the tint. Now we're going to bump this up to a nice high value just so we can see how it affects our footage and just start to slide through the color spectrum down here. You can see as we go our footage starts to change quite drastically. So if we were trying to go for a similar look that we created before, sort of a late afternoon dusk look, we'll go ahead and pull this into the yellow orange and then just adjust the amount of tint until we feel like we have the desired look. And again we can compare this to our original footage and we can see it's pretty similar to what we created earlier. Maybe not quite as vibrant. But again one single plugin and a very very easy to use. Another thing that you can do is, oops, excuse me, is add a vignette. So we can come to the other tab just add a black vignette, maybe change that to an ellipse, bump up the height, bump out the width, and pull the height back down a little bit, the width down, and just gotta play with the values to start to get the shape of the vignette you want. Then we'll increase the softness, and then just pull down the strength. Now, again, it's another one of those very subtle effects, but if we toggle it on and off, you can see that it just pulls your eye towards the center of the footage. Again, adding to the cinematic look. Then finally, I want to talk about a couple of third-party plugins that I like to use. And one is actually pretty similar to using the soft contrast. And that is one from HitFilm that is called CineStyle. Now you can see once I've added this CineStyle, uh, it's already sort of given me a graded look. And that's because it automatically tints to sort of that blue-orange hue that you see in a lot of movies and TV shows. And you can adjust the strength of that within the plugin. And it offers a whole bunch of other ways to... Uh, fine-tune your footage again within one single plugin. We can adjust the uh, contrast curve here, leave it nice and high for a cinematic look. You can adjust the exposure again to brighten or uh, darken your image. And there we go. Put that back at zero. You can adjust the color saturation. You can add your own letterbox, uh, enable film grain, which goes a long way to making your footage look more cinematic, and also add a vignette. Again, all with them, what plugin? Now, the other thing I like to use uh, is it's not really a third party plugin, but you need a third party plugin in order to use it, and that is something called a LUT. So, we'll go ahead and remove that. And we'll use HitFilm's LUT plugin. There are free ones that you can download for Sony Vegas as well. 
And you can also find free LUTs, you just have to type in Google. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about what a LUT is, but basically it tells your footage, it'll read your footage, basically it tells your software that anything that's say maybe this color brown is now going to be this color. So it takes color A and replaces it with color B. So I'm going to go ahead and apply one just so you can see what I mean. So I've got to go to my LUTs. If I can remember where I put them. There we go. 3D LUTs. Okay, so if we're going to go for one that's a warmer look, boom, we've applied a LUT and it looks already a lot like the footage that we've corrected to earlier. A nice warmer feel. And I haven't had to do anything but apply it. So now once I've applied this, I can then add color correction wheels, I can add curves wheels, and then adjust this footage. Now the best thing about a LUT is that it can take, again, our default looking footage and then change it rather drastically to something different. So we can apply all sorts of different LUTs that have come in this LUT pack that I downloaded from Triune Digital. It's a paid pack, but it's very, very much worth the money. And a ton of different sort of looks that you can apply to your footage. Again, to get different looks. And then once you find one that you like, again, you just go through and you adjust with other preset plugins. Well, anyways, I hope this sort of clears up some of the uh, techniques that I use for grading and correcting my footage to get a more cinematic look. As always, don't forget to leave a like, a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video.